Hello dolls and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Neapolitan ice cream inspired makeup look for you guys and this is also a collaboration with Chua. She's going to be doing her own dessert for this collaboration. I'm going to leave her all her information down below regarding the collaboration and her Instagram and everything in general so you guys can check her out. If you guys want to see how to get this a Neapolitan ice cream inspired look, continue on watching into this tutorial. Alright, so to start this look, I'm going to be using my Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to be using the shade Warm Taupe to set in my transition shade. And I had already applied this, um, I came out as being stupid, but what I did was I just set that in the transition shade using the Kylie Cosmetics brush. And then I went ahead and used Tempera to highlight under my brow bone. And then I'm just going to go ahead and use my Morphe E30 brush. This one's a little bit more dense blending brush and I'm just going to buff in that shade to blend it out. Now I'm going to go ahead and carve out my inner lid using the NYX Jumbo Crown in the shade Milk and I'm going to be using my 248 flat concealer brush to go ahead and kind of carve that out. I'm just going to go ahead and coat the inner half of my eyelid. Alright, so now that we have that laid out, I'm going to be go ahead and going into my Morphe 35S palette. I'm just going to set that down with the white real quick. And then we're going to go ahead and go in with this pink shade right here and put this on the very inner corner. Then we're going to go back into that white and this is going to go on the center of the lid. And then for the outer corner, I'm going to be using Cypress Umber as my chocolate shade for this look. And we're just going to go ahead and tuck it into the outer corner. And then I'm just going to go back to my Morphe brush and just kind of blend out the shades. And then I'm just going to go back into that white. And then I'm just going to add some setting spray to it just to give it a little more pigmentation. And then for the lower lash line, I'm just going to go ahead and mimic everything. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to my NYX Jumbo Pencil. And I'm just going to put this on the inner half, smudge it in. And then I'm just going to go ahead and take the flat end of the Anastasia brush. And I'm just going to dip back into that pink. And then we're just going to lay that on the very inner corner. And then I'm going to set that white down in the center. And then I'm just going to go back to the fluffy side of this Anastasia brush and I'm going to take some of that warm coat and just set that on the outer crease. Then I'm going to go back to the flat end side of the brush and I'm going to take the Cypress Umber and this is going to go on the lash line kind of. And then I'm just going to go back to my Sonia Kashnik brush and this is the number 116 brush. And I'm going to go ahead and use this to highlight my inner corner. I'm going to be taking the Kat Von D Alchemist Holographic palette and I'm going to be using the shade Opal which is gives off this nice pink hue. So I'm going to take that and put it on the inner corner. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish the rest of my eye off camera. I'm going to do the eyeliner and apply the false lashes and then I'll be right back for you guys. Alright, so I just went ahead and finished my lashes off camera and I used Ardell Studio Effect Wispies. So now I'm just going to go ahead and move on to the lips, which is the final touch to this look. And I'm going to be using the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in the shade Chrysanthem. And I seriously am obsessed with this shade so much. It has these nice golden champagne shimmer in it and I just love it. We're just going to go ahead and apply. Alright, and the final step is just to set it all with the Morphe Prep and Set Makeup Setting Spray. I'm just going to go ahead and... Yes. I seriously just love this setting spray so much. It just, the mist is so fine when it comes out and it's evenly distributed and it doesn't mess up my makeup at all. So that's why I really love this makeup is the thing for it. But this is the completed look for my Neapolitan ice cream inspired makeup tutorial. So please be sure to check out the link in my bio for Chua's collaboration on this part. And if you guys like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Go ahead and click it right now. Go click it. Click it. 
because I do post new videos every Sunday and Wednesday for you guys. So be sure to not miss out on those videos. And you guys have an amazing day. Peace out. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be talking to you guys about the power of makeup. Nikki Tutorials had originally created this concept a couple years ago.